of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. This is a very, very special review brought to me uh, and, and to you by angelgrovecollectibles.com.au. They were very kind and sent out a review sample of the new Luke Skywalker from this uh, 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm sort of comic series. Um, I reviewed two of the figures. Uh, the fourth one is coming, which is Jackson the Rabbit. I'm still up in the air about that one. Uh, but yeah, they, they were ever so kind to send this one to me. Uh, they're available now at uh, angelgrovecollectibles.com.au and if you use the promo code TFIWJ, that stands for The Force of Jesse 5, so TFIWJ5, um, I'll try and remember to put it up here in the video, or if not, it'll be in the description. So if you use that on checkout, you can save yourself 5%, um, which is a nice little offer. They've... Uh, given me and any of my sort of followers and friends that would be that would love to go out and stock up on some new toys so please go ahead um, and this look is it's looking pretty good actually I uh, I know it's just a sort of simple repaint of the uh, Dagobah look but uh, it, it actually looks quite good and um, this box art is just absolutely stunning so Thought we'd have a nice close look at that from the Air to the Empire based on the uh, comic adaptation. So it's fantastic. Got the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm logo there on the side of the box. I really love that sort of just simple picture of Luke there, Luke Skywalker and Salamiri. And we have the sort of 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm timeline. And yeah, a little little write-up that says commemorate the first 50 years of Lucasfilm with figures inspired by Star Wars books and comics. So uh, that's what they're going with and uh, sort of on the inner spine here there's some cool panel panel work from the comics which is great. And yeah, another nice little write-up in there if you'd like to pause it and have a read about the Asalamiri. Um, looking forward to putting that on Thrawn's shoulder. So that'll be really really cool. But uh, so we can get a close up look, let's open it up and have a look. So before I kick off the review, I just wanted to share a couple of awesome stickers that Angel Grove Collectibles has uh, added in with the packaging. Got a cool range of uh, cool range of stickers. I'm not sure what this is uh, inspired by. That's uh, something uh, I'm not sure about, but uh, I will we'll endeavour to find out. <laughs> Um, so obviously Angel Grove Toys and Collectibles inspired by Power Rangers. Uh, that's their sort of main logo, which looks awesome. They've done a great job with that. Angel Grove Collectibles obviously inspired by Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, which is, you know, really nice looking, really nice looking logo actually. And Angel Grove Collectibles, I'm, I'm not sure about this one either, so... That's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it. I'm sure it's representative of some of the other brands they stock. Um, I know for in fact they do do a lot of Dragon Ball Z. Um, yeah, Power Rangers obviously that's their sort of specialty. But uh, yeah, it's great to see more more toy stores in Australia get a hold of some cool Star Wars stuff. So here it is, still in the box. Um, yeah, I just wanted to add that they are. Uh, you know, this was wrapped beautifully in bubble wrap, really nicely packaged and, uh, you know, sent with great speed and packed with great care. So, yeah, definitely get on over there and have a look. So let's go on over. Let's open it up right now. All right. So here is Luke and, uh, yeah, straight off the back, <laughs> straight off the bat, sorry, um, you know, the Dagobah Luke is probably one of the best Luke Skywalker figures that uh, Hasbro have done for the Black Series so far. So it's a no-brainer that Hasbro wanted to uh, give it some more use. That head sculpt is my favorite Black Series Luke Skywalker head sculpt that we've seen so far. So, And, uh, you know, any chance to give give us a Luke with his green lightsaber is is awesome. You know, Luke in black looks good in general. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. We'll have a close look at him in a second, but I want to go over 
Mr. Salamiri, who sort of force, force immune lizard, <laughs> little eyes. But, uh, we've seen this in uh, the Power of the Force. Uh, with the release of Thrawn, Great Admiral Thrawn in the expanded universe of the Power of the Force in the 90s, and then in the comic pack that Thrawn came with, uh, Talon Card, he also had his little Salamiri. So, obviously, this this sort of whole idea hasn't been established into the new canon yet, because it still very well could be. Um, but yeah, we've had a couple of instances of the Asalamiri in a statue in Thrawn's office in Star Wars Rebels. Uh, we also got a little um, ornament of that two little Asalamiri lizards uh, in that sort of comic in that San Diego Comic Con. I think it was San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, pack quite a few years ago now when Thrawn had his first release. So here I have Thrawn. I am going to zoom out just to see how this fits over his shoulder. That sort of hugs on nice and sort of snug there. So if you're really into your um, Heir to the Empire and you'd love to have, you know, Thrawn from that era, the only difference is the sort of the shoulder bits. I can't remember what they're called. I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know, but that's sitting quite nicely. It sort of just, just hugs around his collar um, that will stop it from sliding off and falling off, but it's obviously been nicely sculpted to sit there on Thrawn's shoulders. But yeah, that looks quite nice. But yeah, it's nice to see a little bit of love back to the old... Uh, expanded universe, particularly Heir to the Empire, it's beloved by many, and uh, for a lot of collectors and Star Wars fans alike, it was uh, what kept Star Wars alive for for quite a few years. So let's get a look at Luke. So we get his lightsaber hilt, which looks nice. Is unpeggable, which is nice. So it sits in there very nicely. It's nice and tight. Nice snug fit in these hands. This is probably, yeah, they're, they're certainly getting better with the uh, sculpting of the hands. They're able to sort of hold, hold lightsabers and stuff a lot better. So there's the head sculpt. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. But yeah, it's quite a quite a nice looking figure. You could have, you know, Luke doing some future training post Return of the Jedi, donning the black. Yeah, it does look quite striking. Even just being a simple, you know, black repaint over the uh, Dagobah look. It's uh, quite good. Like I said, that, that Dagobah look is probably my favourite look. Maybe second only to the Snowspeeder one. But uh, yeah, any chance to get Luke with his green sabre is a bonus. Yeah, get him with some great, great poses, so. I have nothing but thanks to give to the friendly folks at Angel Grove Collectibles. They're currently having a sale. Um, they're looking to move, and uh, they'll be getting married, so big congratulations to them. And, uh, yeah, they're definitely hoping to move some stock, so jump on over, show them some support. AngelGroveCollectibles.com.au Again, promo code TFIWJ5 5% off at checkout. And uh, yeah, go follow them on social media and stuff and let them know I sent you. That would be uh, absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, another fantastic outlet for us down here in Australia when sort of major retail just isn't quite hitting it for us collectors these days. So 
it's great that we have so many fantastic online outlets and Angel Grove Collectibles is absolutely one of them. So big thanks to them. Big thanks to you. Let me know in the comments what you think of this figure. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I've got a couple more reviews coming up in the coming days. So stay tuned for that. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always.